What's up? This is Wayne Barron here for CFFCS.com's Coding Source. Here to bring y'all a SQL Server Database Programming Example. This one right here is on how to count records and how to count distinct ID records. Let's say that you're designing a, uh, a form. And uh, so inside of your form, uh, somebody creates a new post or thread. And then um, each person uh, goes on and they post a comment on that. So what you want to do is that let's say that you want to count each user's um, activities throughout the forum. So in the, um, the database you would want to count how many times that that user has uh, made comments on uh, different threads or different posts. So what you would do is that you would count how many distinct times that that user ID has, uh, has been used. And so that would be counting how many comments. Then you would want to count how many uh, times that they have gone on to each post. So let's say that you got 10 posts and the users commented 30 times. So you would count up how many times the users commented, which would be 30 and then for uh, how many posts that he had gone on to, which would be 10. So that's basically what we're gonna do here, but we're gonna do it all inside of one query instead of multiple queries so that you can have one simple query to run inside of your ASP project. So let's go ahead and do that now. So that's, uh, we're using uh, SQL Server Management Studio for 2005. Uh, so what I, uh, the database we're gonna be working off from here is our ask. ASK is the new website that I am in the process of designing, which is a Q&A site uh, for people to go on and ask questions and people post comments to them. And so, uh, but what we're going to do is that we're going to right click on our database and choose new query. And then once our query window opens up, we're going to uh, go up here to our design query and editor and open it up. <coughs> And then we're going to choose our tables. If you hold down the control key, you can choose multiple tables. So in this case, we're going to choose our media because that's where our questions are at and our med answers, which is where our answers are at. We choose add and then it will add it to our table. And for some reason, it keeps on selecting the first admin, which we do not want here. So <clears throat> what we're wanting is that we want to grab a hold of our ask ID and our mid ID. And so um, down here, we want to create a, uh, uh, let's change this, let's do add group by, and then we want to do count on each one of these, except that on our mid ID, our mid ID is um, what we want to do a distinct on. We want to find out how many threads that the user has commented on. Not how many comments that they've made, but how many threads that they have commented on. So in that case, we would do a distinct count. So you go down here and you count distinct. And then on our ask ID, which is our user's ID, we want to choose count. But we also want to grab a hold of that user's ID. So in this case, we're going to use mine, which is one. So we click on OK, and then what we should get is we should get two different numbers. And we do not need to show our ID since we know that we're going to be searching for our ID here, which is one. So we should get back two different sets of numbers. One should be a higher number than the other one. The highest number will be the amount of comments, and the lowest number would be the amount of threads. And so when we execute, we should get 45 and 6, which is not what we wanted. So we need to change that. See, what's happened here is that we have gotten our ID from the wrong side or the wrong table. So what we do is that we jump back in here and see 45 is not the right number. And I know that's not the right number. So what we do is that we go down here to our ask and we change it to our mid answers. Then we click OK, and then we execute, and then we, there you go. 17 is how many comments that I've made, 
and I've made it inside of six different questions or six different threads. So that's basically how you do it. Now to do it without making the mid ask ID mistake, we go here, let's jump back into it one more time and run by real quick. We choose our two tables. We choose our ask ID and our mid ID. We right click and add a group by Make our window a little bit bigger here. We choose on our ask ID, we want to count it. And on our mid ID, we want to count distinct on it. Then we want to add our ask ID again. And then we want to have a filter of one or two, which is another user. And then we want to make sure that our ask ID is feeding off from the right table. Because if you feed off from the the wrong table then you will get a wrong number so you want it to come up with what you know it's going to be and since we're doing two it's going to have a higher number on both of them so click ok then we execute it and then we get 34 and 7 so that's seven questions and 34 comments then we do one and we get 17 comments and six questions so that right there is how you count a regular count and a distinct count all inside of one query. Now this query right here can be run inside of your, uh, like my desktop, inside of your, uh, your website. Bring it up here. Only thing that you gotta do is replace this with this code. And then whenever you run it, it is going to grab a hold of the ID, which is what is needed for here. Don't forget your equal. And then once it's run, then you will be able to grab a hold of both of the IDs. So this is going to count our comments. And then this is going to count our questions. So, anyway. I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick tutorial, and uh, like I said, once again, hope y'all enjoyed my desktop too. Sorry for that. Anyway, y'all have a, a, a rocking week and a very happy new year 2012. This is Wayne Barron for Coding Source, cffcs.com. Take care.